From time to time, a radar or ADA unit may need to be opened up, whether for installing upgrades or for service or diagnostic reasons. Often, problems with the unit may be solved by simply reseeding a few cards within the unit. At any point, if you are uncomfortable with this procedure or need some assistance, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-776-1356. It's always important to take the necessary safety precautions. In this video, we are wearing ankle grounding straps. Before removing the lid, the first thing you want to do is unplug the mains power from the unit. Loosen, but do not remove the two screws on either side of the lid. Next, remove the six screws on the top of the lid. You can then lift the lid off the radar or ADA frame and safely place it to the side. We will start by removing the SICK1 or System Interface Card 1. It can be removed by wiggling the card and pulling it towards the front of the machine. There are no screws holding it in place so it should come off fairly easily. Next, we will remove the SICK0 or System Interface Card 0. First, remove the orange Molex power connector running to the card. The 6-0 can then be removed by rocking the card forwards and backwards and pulling it directly upwards. Once these two cards have been removed, we can access other parts of the radar, such as the analog I.O., sync processor, MADI digital I.O., adrenaline DR, and video cards. Once the necessary reseeding, installation, or service has been performed, we can put the system interface cards back into the unit. We will first reinstall the SICK0. It is very important to make sure that all card edges line up with the corresponding connectors on the SICK0. You can glance down the length of the cards from the front of the machine to see if they line up. Ensure the card is properly reinstalled by pressing down on the card. It should lay perfectly flat and should not move when pressure is applied. Next, reattach the orange Molex power connector as shown. We will then reinstall the SICK1. It is also important to make sure all card edges line up with the connectors on this card. You may need to look down these connectors from an angle to ensure that they are all properly aligned. Once everything is lined up, don't be afraid to give the card a little pressure to fit it back in place, making sure you don't apply so much pressure as to snap the card or connectors. Once the SICK1 is reinstalled, it should be aligned perfectly vertically. You can then put the lid back on the unit and boot it back up. Again, if at any point you have questions or concerns, please call IS at 1-800-776-1356.